Seven years ago, I left full-time teaching to concentrate on physics online and build up my YouTube channel and the websites. I've actually now got three people who work with me part-time. They've been working with me for about five years, but I'm gonna be going back to teaching. Now, this is actually a problem for me. The main problem is, is that when I left teaching, I basically threw away all of my ties and my suit, and I've basically been wearing uh, kind of jeans or shorts and a t-shirt for the last seven years. So my first big problem is I don't actually have anything to wear. So at some point in the next couple of days, I need to go back and buy a suit and some ties and all that kind of good stuff. However, I'm not gonna be going back to teaching full time, and I'm really doing it because one of the schools I used to work at, their physics teachers left, and their year 13 class, don't have uh, two full-time physics teachers take them up into the exam season and, and prepare them for exams. So I'm going to be going back for a few weeks, I'm going to be helping some of the year 13 classes prepare for their OCRA exams, um, and I'm going to still be working on YouTube and so on. So basically, I still enjoy teaching, I'm still working with groups of people and actually helping educate them, and I do miss it because it's something that I really enjoyed. I mean, I enjoyed teaching, I didn't necessarily enjoy all the other bits about being a teacher, like doing reports and marking work and actually running the whole science department. That's kind of quite a demanding thing, but I actually kind of like educating and helping people. So I'm going to be going back to teaching, but it's only part time and only for the short term. Obviously, I'm going to be using stuff with those students I can then share on my main kind of YouTube channel. And of course, the stuff I've been doing uh, with YouTube and my website will hopefully help them as they prepare for their exams. Now, of course, for the rest of you, 24 days is basically when I see the exam season starting. This video is coming out on Easter Sunday and there's 24 days until the first real A-level exam this year, which is on the 14th of May, which is the AS exam. And that's when I see, I guess, this exam period really beginning. And of course, uh, you can often tell a lot from those exams about how it's gonna be for the other exams for those examples. So I'm gonna be keeping a close eye on the AS physics exams, having a look at what different exam boards have actually produced. And I guess that's gonna give us a good indication of what's gonna come for the rest of you the next week when you're maybe doing your GCSEs or your full A-level papers. Now, during that time, I'm gonna be releasing many more videos. Um, for example, if you are doing OCRB, I'm gonna have a video that I go through the pre-release material. I've got my normal kind of standard videos that come out each week uh, where I actually kind of talk about this kind of proper physics. So you might have seen recent ones where I've been going through some practical experiments. There's gonna be more of those coming up. There's also uh, full past paper work throughs and you can find some of those uh, that I've released recently on YouTube. But of course you can find the rest of those for A-Level over at alevelphysicsonline.com and then you just need to find my past paper finder. Something else that I'm doing uh, that I guess I haven't necessarily done in previous years is a whole set of masterclasses which I'm going to talk about more later in the video for those who might be interested. And I'm also thinking about other products I can release out there that you can download to help you as you're revising. However, you've got to realise that within about a month's time, you're going to be deep into your exam, uh, kind of the exam phase of your lives if you're in year 11 and year 13. And actually, this is a point where you get a real sense of clarity. You know what's important. And the main thing to do is just do as many past papers in advance as possible. Use that to identify the areas that you're not doing so well in. And then you can then concentrate your revision on those areas, maybe by using your notes that you've already made, watching videos that I've got. And you can find a full set of videos over on my websites. Um, and of course, you, you may be thinking about using flashcards. You might be just, uh, you know, writing some kind of key notes for some of the important things. You might be practicing the kind of six marker questions. And then it's the case of just doing as many questions as possible. For those of you who might be interested and need some last minute support for your exams, I'm going to be running some masterclasses. The first two, the bookings are now open. These are both going to be on practical work that you might have carried out in year 12. So perfect for students doing real AS exams and ideal for any year 13 students who need to revise stuff they did last year back in year 12. It's going to be the same session. I'm going to be going to be running one on Saturday and one on Sunday. And of course, if you want to book a place, uh, you can find all the information in the link that you can find underneath this video. So yeah, uh, basically, this is the time of year when things get really busy. It's the time of year when everybody focuses. And actually, it's a time of year when I think a lot of people realise just how much they've learned and actually how much they've developed over the last couple of years in the run-up to the exams. So yeah, if you want to stay updated about anything else I'm doing, including these masterclasses, uh, new videos, whatever else it might be, I do have a free weekly newsletter you can sign up. Again, I've got the link to that beneath this video, um, and you can basically sign up for free to my weekly newsletters. You can unsubscribe at any point, and that just gives you a bit more information straight into your inbox to really help you over these coming weeks.